It's what George Bush sees when he closes his eyes. It's Reggie, the special needs turtle. Uh-oh. What's this? Oh, is that... Yeah, that monkey shines monkeys up to no good again. Oh, okay. He did what we all must learn to do. You and you. All right, uh, deja vu, I guess. And cover. Be sure and remember what Bert the Turtle just did, friends, because every one of us must remember to do the same thing. To draw our heads and appendages inside our torsos. Duck and cover. Also the title of a vastly superior Daffy Duck cartoon, but never mind that. Produced in cooperation with the Federal Civil Defense Administration. Produced by the Veterans Tap Dance Administration. With the Safety Commission of the National Education Association. Nothing says objectivity like a civil defense warning at the beginning of your movie. Hey, Bert. Come on out and meet all these nice people. Or Please. stay in. It's cheaper just oh, animating your eyes. Right. We really can't blame you. You see, Bert is a very, very careful fellow. Bert kind of lost danger, it after the anthrax scare. The way he keeps from being hurt. Sometimes it even saves his life. Incidentally, this is also how That's Prince reacts to his fans. Practicing to duck and cover, just as you do in your school. These kids know that monkeys with dynamite will stop at nothing. Atomic bomb is very dangerous. Since it may be used against us, wow, that's really bad lip sync. For it, just as we are ready for many other dangers that are around us all the time. Dangers like Wayans Brothers and Garfield movies. It can burn whole buildings if someone is uh, Ow, ow. But we are ready. Ow, who forgot to grease the pole? Ow. You have a fine fire department to put out the fire. And you have fire. <laughs> it's a clown routine. Too, so you know do, 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 do. Automobiles can be dangerous too. If you're a Kennedy. They sometimes cause bad accidents. But we are ready. We have safety rules that car drivers and people who are walking must obey. You will obey. Now, we must be ready for a new danger. These the children. atomic bomb. Huh. First, you have to know what happens when an atomic bomb explodes. Let's set one off now. You will know when it comes. We hope it never comes, but... Let's face it, we're asking for it. It looks something like this. How not to be There's seen. A bright flash, brighter than the sun, brighter than anything you've ever bright seen. Bright enough to turn everything into a you cartoon. You ready and did not know what to do... It could hurt you in different ways. It could slander your it could name. Knock you down hard, or throw you against a tree or a wall. It is such a big explosion, it can smash in buildings and knock signboards over. It's just really awesome, okay? But if you duck and cover like Bert, you will be much safer. In the way that a dead person you is know safe. How bad sunburn can feel. The atomic bomb flash could burn you worse than a terrible sunburn. And you need to look Especially your best for all those post-apocalyptic covered. hotties. Now, you and I don't have shells to crawl in. Oh, like <laughs> the dirt. Turtle, so we have to cover up in our own way. Through repression and denial. First, you duck. <laughs> and then you cover. And very tight. You want your skeleton to be discovered in the goofiest position face. possible. Duck and cover underneath a table or desk mm. or anything else close by. Your lab partner, for example. In Betty's school, they are talking about the atomic bomb, too. Betty is asking her teacher... Why do they hate us? How can we tell when the atomic bomb may explode? Mm. And her teacher is explaining that there are two kinds of attack. The kinds that kill you and the kinds that mutate you and fuse your body to the ground. We think that most of the time we will be warned before oh, the man. bomb explodes. They get so many stations so on that thing, but they insist on listening to Paul Harvey. Home, schools, or some other safe place. Our civil defense workers and our men in uniform will do everything they can to warn us before enemy planes... We've asked all our enemies for at least 48 hours notice. You may be in your schoolyard playing when the signal comes. You'll thank God the atom bomb distracts from your curly bat swing. That signal means to stop whatever you are doing... And rip off M. ...nearest safe place fast. Always remember, a flash of an atomic bomb can come at any time. Like now, or now, what was that? You might be out playing at home. Ha <laughs> playing is fun. Comes. Hey, Patty Duke's on! Then be sure to get into the house fast, where your parents have fixed a safe place for you to go. On the roof. If you are not close to home when you hear the warning, hmm. go to the nearest safe cover. Seitel is alarmed. Know where you are to go, or ask an older person. Ask James Harriet to help you. You know the places marked with the S sign? As for stupid. There are safe places to go when you hear the alarm. If there is a warning, you will hear it before the bomb explodes. It's weird like that. But sometimes... When we touch. And this is very, very important. Sometimes the bomb might explode without any warning. This possibility should preoccupy your every thought. About it would be the flash. 
And that means duck and cover fast. It also means atrocious rat eye. There's no time to look around or wait. Be like Bert. When there is a flash, duck and cover. And no time to think about your loved ones. Leave them to die. Save yourself. Here are some older boys showing what to do if the flash comes when you're in the classroom. This is what to do if you should be in a corridor. Wear an absurdly large you tie. Duck and cover tight against the wall this way. The girlier the better. Remember to keep your face in the back of your neck. Empty your tightly. bowels as quietly as possible. Try to fall away from windows or doors with glass in them. You don't want to get a sliver during the nuclear holocaust. Through the air, it won't cut you. You hey. might be eating your lunch. The cafeteria at Shawshank. Duck and cover under the table. Your school's meatloaf is 90% lead. The explosion makes anything in the room fall down. It can't fall on you. Uh -huh. Getting ready means we will all have to be able to take care of ourselves. Just start living like your family's already dead, okay? No grown -ups near. Bye, kids. Always Don't get fried. Noted. I love you. And they're always ready to take care of themselves. Besides, Mom's kind of a spaz. Here they are on their way to school on a beautiful spring day. But no matter where they go or what they do, they always try to remember what to do if the atom bomb explodes right then. They have night terrors and develop irregular heartbeats. Paul and Patty know what to do. Paul covered the back of his head so that he wouldn't be burned. And Patty covered herself with a coat. They both carrying. begin to wonder why they should even wake they up in the morning. Duck and cover. They acted right away when the flash came. If they had been at this doorway when the bomb flashed, Paul and Patty would have ducked and covered this way, like this girl. Who was planning to mug them. Heavy doorways are a good place to duck and cover. Ducking and covering is a perfect opportunity to repent of your sins. Here's Tony going to his Cub Scout meeting. Tony knows the bomb can explode any time of the year, day or night. He it can't come soon enough for Tony. Duck and cover. Way to go, Tony. Add a boy, Tony. Yeah. That flash means act fast. Tony knows that it helps to get to any kind of cover. Uh, make the voices this stop. This was close by, so that's where he ducked and covered. Tony knew what to do. Notice how he keeps from moving or from getting up and running? He stays down until he is sure the danger is over. Here comes the man the to man keep Tony down. Tony is a civil defense worker. His job is to help protect us when there is danger of the atomic bomb. Which requires we that we be terrified all the time. Worker. We must know how to duck and cover in the school bus. Because Billy or Joel's the driver! Ah! Streetcar. Duck and cover. Depressed yet? Wait. Duck away from the windows fast. The glass may break and fly through the air. Oh, right, it. I forgot. Sundays, holidays... Oh, finally, a nice, happy scene. We must be ready Family every picnic. Day, all the time to do That's the right nice. thing if the atomic bomb explodes. Duck and cover. A little too much this lighter fluid pop. <laughs> just as your own family should. They know that even a thin cloth helps protect them. Not really. Even a newspaper can save you from a bad burn. Again, not really. But the most important thing of all is to duck and cover yourself. In fact, after the movie, Especially just get on the floor and don't move till we come get you. No matter where we live. Uh, I get it, I know, okay. Duck and we cover. Must be ready all the time for the atomic bomb. Oh, McDonald had a... Duck oh! and cover. That's the first thing to do. Duck and cover. The next important thing to do... Is to wet yourself. ...is to stay covered until the danger <laughs> is over. So, stay there forever. Yes, we must all get ready now. Don't so waste we time we enjoying life or developing meaningful relationships. The bomb ever explodes near us. If you do not know just what to do... Ask your teacher when this film is over. Discuss what you could do Again, in different cafeteria places Joshua. the bomb explodes. Older people will help us as they always do. See? But there might not be any grown-ups around when the bomb explodes. What then a bunch of klutzes. You're on your own. Remember what to do, friends. Now tell me right out loud. You suck! What are you supposed to do when you see the flash? Mm hmm. Oh, right. Duck. Bert, the retarded turtle, will be back in Duck and Cover 2, the Armageddon.